normally. It's not going to call in at the natural expo alongside a hydralist den, so he's just putting up his defensive posture. Also at the lower right, hand, lower left hand. I'm sorry, Muto. Change up, Mutas. No cannons. One Corsair. One Corsair. Goodbye, Scourge in the midst. All the all the Mutas picking up everything. So the Zealot push. Actually, not an eight Zealot push, but. Yeah, the, these, that's all all he has right now. Not spotting the mule is popping up with a Corsair. Not getting a proper scout. Does have a Dark Templar's up. Our Overlord's in play. So he's going to pick off some drones. Three drones. Four. No, three drones being picked off. But that's losing to almost your entire natural expansion. Not going to be much. High Templar morph into Archon. Yes. Probably going to die even before he allows to morph in. Uh, I hope for, st for stat sake that he can all put some cannons at his natural expo. Because if he hasn't, he's screwed. Uh, two on the way at the north side means, means Mutas could pick off the Arbor before even Arbor, um, Archon before even morphs in. Had two more gateways on the way, so he was going for a very strong ground army. Well, Mutas are going to run back a little bit. Probably good to the next edge, but still going to manage to do quite a bit of damage before the county morphs in. Stats at this point, he's like, are you kidding me? Oh, God. Jeez. You know, it's, it's just Jadong. This is just pure Jadong. High Templar, hello, Titan Templar. Goodbye, High Templar. Second High Templar. Ooh, goodbye. You're not allowed to live. All High Templars go down. No mining pretty much at all going down the Natural Expo. And now we're going to be seeing that massive, massive Hydra production. But Jadong, oh, I love this guy. How can you not love this? A couple of Dragoons be pulled off, <laughs> being produced right now. Hop Defense and some Probe Glitch in there doing the, ta doing the Mamba together. I think there was a four Probe Orgy there. Porgy. Is a four, is a pro Borgia Porgy? I don't know. I don't want to know that other thing about it. I don't want to know what a. I know what it, I know exactly what it's gonna sound like. Meow, 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 meow. Just a lot of that going on. Uh, one Hydra is one. One Hydra gonna die, but uh, don't think you want to continue pressuring. Photon Cannon almost coming in. Mula's continuing the pressure. Few dragoons in there though, so probably get, get pushed back, but. As a Protoss, you need to be able to keep those two bases of yours mining well against the three base Zerg. And since that's not meant to do that, he's not going to have much of anything to engage those massive Hydras. He's had all of his High Templar picked off and all the workers on the ground to help. Because Jadong knows there's not going to be much detection along, uh, aside from Kent splitting up his lurkers, uh, burying them on all sides. Probably going to get the, yeah, going to get the second one picked off, but the other one, I mean, we're just going to stay in there. Be all no annoying, probably at a semi scout. Hive mule on the way, third bit, three base hive, and you know why not? Adding in a, uh, an additional production hatchery, dragoons mule going to come. Try to pressure his natural expo. But there's just a one single worker. They're just attacking the dragoons. They're just standing there going, Ugh. more just running right over the worker in the middle. More mutos coming in. They're not really going to be able to engage the dragoons, but no observers in the air. Robotics literally just not coming on, so no pressure. Jadong really playing beautifully on all sides, getting those workers because he knows with no detection he's just going to be able to cont defend with nothing but a few workers at each position. Instead of going for that massive Hydra army, still keep keeping some mutalists in the air. Not, don't really think he's producing many more. Has some scourge alongside just in case. Also help to, of course, snipe those observers once they do come out. More lurkers at the National Expo. Dragoons continuing trying to pressure on, but a lot of lurkers, some zerglings alongside. What gets those cracklings up? I think he might actually completely skip the Hydras at this point. Might just go. Has an evolution chamber come up, so I might be completely wrong. But I think he might actually skip the Hydras. Just go straight for Defiler Tech and win that way because. Because that's it. That is it. Um, observatory just not coming up, and this is so late, it's not even funny. Stats has already lost this game. There's no real opportunity. If this wasn't Jadong, this would say Hyuk. He might have a chance to get back into this game. But even then, you know, even Hyuk would have a hard time messing up this badly with a lead like this. But against Jadong, you you know, even Bisu would have a hard time getting back into this game. And Bisu's PvZ lately has been not as perfect as it used to be. But yes, that's in a lot of trouble. Lurker pressing his natural expert, picking off that forge. Just, you know, if you pick up the forge, no more cannons. No more cannons. Mutes are going to be able to go and do some damage. No more cannons. No static. Oh, no static, you know. Static detection. Whee! Don't think he's going to actually be able to do this. I think an observer is going to be coming out just in time to help pick off that lurker. I think stats still the moving forces all around. <laughs> actually, Jadong completely leading the Zealot's alone. Like, ah, whatever. I want to go for the forge. Observer going to come out right now. So, 
is gonna, are going to be able to pick off is he is those forces are going to be able to pick off the workers and he has some ground forces but I just don't think they're nearly enough number to engage whatever what it is that Jairong has a lot of zerglings on the field with Carapus upgrade lots and lots and lots of them with lurkers he's just going to try to go for pincers he knows this exactly what he needs to do get a mill out with those zerglings try to get us around stats at the very least push it, pulling some of his forces back knows he doesn't want to go for this too much a lot of forces running from the south side so Jairong is going to manage to get a full pincer here if he has some forces from the left side still does have some lurkers there Zillots, oh, Zerglings come in from the south, some on the left side, some on the right side. This is going to be Lurkers coming, burning as well. And I think the crack upgrade hit right now. Oh, man, this is going to be it. Dragoons running southwards right now, but there's going to be even more reinforcements coming in from that south position as they run in and just slowly die. Oh, God, look at that. Jerong just doing everything perfectly, non-standard, and just completely killing this. Stats guy, who is stats? Whatever, stats. So who, yeah, whatever, you. Picking him off. Doing basically, you know, this is not, stats is not the, high, the level of a pro player you need to be to pick off something like Jaden. It has some high tempo on the field. Storm, storm, please. No, okay, never mind. Zerglings is just gonna come in alongside Lurkers and come in, start picking everything off. And he's probably just gonna win this with nothing, but Lurkers and Zerglings at this point should have a defiler mound on the way so they should be on the way but they're not really going to be needed gg from stats as those zerglings come in and start killing everything so jayrong 2-0 and that's all she wrote he's gonna probably just gonna go ahead and win the next set not really much else to say with the way he's playing right now and he's making a look effort just sitting there going dun, 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 dun. one more and i can go home Make back home my bitch again. Choo -choo -choo. And Stats just sitting there rubbing his fingers. I'm gonna get owned, I'm gonna get owned, I'm gonna get owned, and go home, curl up in my bed with my pillows, hot cho you know, some hot chocolate, and cry. Probably gonna have some ice cream too, but hey, whatever. This is what we come here to see. GG guys, <laughs> GG guys, wrenching out. Thanks for listening. Hope you enjoy. Oh, Jay Rong and your facial expressions. Oh well. GG.